Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Beholder. It is time to investigate, spy, and blackmail some of our fellow citizens of this dystopian game. If you guys are enjoying, leave a like, leave a comment, leave something letting me know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what is going on here. I don't know what that means, huh? Our current mission here, we need to find some information about, let's see, what was it? Okay, hidden reveal. I must talk to tenants about Klaus Shimmer. I'm trying to find some information about him. We gotta talk to Shimmer's wife. Mark and Rosa. So where is Klaus Schimmer? Okay, so that is Maria Schrimmer. And she's in apartment one. Okay, and then Rosa is that lady. Okay, so we're gonna head out here and start interrogating people about Klaus Schimmer. I don't know what he's done, if he's like in trouble or anything, mm -hmm. but the government wants more information about him. Let's go and ask about Klaus. I wanted to ask you about Klaus Schimmer. Does he bother you? He's a person of worth. He helped me get a bottle of nice Xerx. He's an expert in wine, unlike my grandpa. All right. So he's an expert in wine. Let's go talk to this. No, no, come back here. <laughs> Carl, where are you going? Go talk to this guy. Uh, we could have some saucepan. Oh, wait, we already talked to him about the saucepan. Okay, ask about Klaus Schimmer. Let's see, what's he know? Why are you interested in this? Uh, let's say, reply Muzzy. I don't know anything you don't know yourself. Moreover, curiosity is a mean sin. I had a fellow worker. He always poked his nose at other people's business and documents. Asked about what happened to him. He was sent to jail. You've learned more than you have to. Goodbye, young man. All right. I don't really want to tell these guys that I'm kind of spying on people. Ooh, is this the new guy? I believe this is... Oh, no, come back. The guy that just moved into apartment two after we kind of got the first guy sent to jail. My bad. Okay, now we've got to find Shimmer's wife. Uh, they're in apartment three, aren't they? Oh, no, they're in apartment one. Okay, Maria, is she home? We'll go knock. Well, let's, we can go spy first. Let's go peek in here. Uh, I don't see her. Maybe she's in the other room. We'll go to knock. Maria, you here? Hello. It is me, Carl. New government directive. We've got so many directives coming in, man. Like, look at this. Clothes. Old clothes are prohibited now. Apples. Foreign money is now prohibited. Singing is prohibited. Wow. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on. I don't know where Maria is. Hmm. Oh, there she is. Maria, come back. Come back, Maria. I want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to acquaint with her. My name is Carl, I'm the new house manager. It's nice to meet you. I'm Maria Shimmer. Have you brought your family here? We moved in just recently, and it would be nice to meet you. Okay, let's go with the saucepan first. Our wife wants to make... Oh! Sweet! Okay, so we got the saucepan. We can give that to our wife. Awesome! Okay, sounds like a plan. This is our housewarming gift. Come back! No, not you. And the dialogue. No, I need to go talk to her. Where did she go? There she is. I need to ask about Klaus. Ask about the husband. How does your husband do? He looked upset. He really doesn't feel well. He received a parcel with a film. Klaus likes shooting photos very much. This will cheer him up. Hmm, okay. So we have enough information about Klaus to report back. I must write characteristics of Klaus Schlemmer. Schlemmer. I keep saying that name wrong. Let's go do that. We'll go run over to our desk and write up our report about him. All right, we're going to characterize a person. Mr. Klaus Schlemmer living in an apartment. Uh, one is male, marital status, married to Maria Schimmer, occupation, I'm pretty sure he's unemployed, let me check here, yeah, he's the ex-owner of the house, so I'm pretty sure he's unemployed, and personal information, he likes wine, and he likes to take pictures, we're going to send that, uh, incorrect, what, incorrect data, tenant's occupation, subject arrested, oh, that was the previous one, we give him the wrong data? What, what is his occupation? Is the ex owner of the house? Oh, he's a. Oh man, I didn't even see that. He's a tobacco seller. Oops. Okay, I think we got fined for that. Okay, let's try this again. Oh yeah, occupation tobacco seller, wine, photos. There we go. Characteristics received. Sweet. We got some cash for that. And next one is. Okay, we gotta find. Oh, we gotta bring our wife the saucepan. Where is she? It's gonna be somewhere around here. I don't think she's home yet or she's sleeping we don't have to sleep because they injected us with something that stops us from sleeping uh, we do have a mission to go ahead and call the ministry I believe so what is this one e yes we need to call the ministry well there's a phone right let's go ahead and call him up ministry of order you must evict Klaus Schimmer okay what about the wife we don't care about her do what you think is best okay uh, how do you evict him you can talk we will content if he moves out uh, but it'll be better for you if you report him when he violates the directives. This is your duty, comrade. Okay. So, we do need to kick him out. Uh, let's go finish the conversation. Talk to you later. 
Okay, we gotta kick him out, but it'd be better if we could get him arrested for something. Like if he's doing something illegal. So what we're actually gonna do is I'm gonna buy a camera. I'm actually gonna buy a couple of them. Uh, let's see, where's our wife at? Oh, there she is. Hello, honey. Martha. Is her name Martha? I think so. I don't remember her name. Well, she doesn't want to talk to me? I got a pan for you. Why can't I talk to you? Woman, come here. Yeah, she doesn't want to talk to me. All right, whatever. Uh, let's go check out their apartment. Let's peek in here real quick. Yeah, they are home. Uh, I'll just knock on it. Hello. Hello, how's it going? What's up, buddy? Hello. Um... Oh, we gotta ask about books. You're an educated person. Klaus, where can I find textbooks on economics? Uh, library is well known to me. Oh, cool. He has books. I'd be happy to help your son study. I'm sure all people should have higher education. It's a pity not many people support this opinion. You have saved my son. Thank you, Klaus. So he just gave me a book. Now do we have to kick him out? Uh, I guess we'll... They're under the eviction. It's over for you. The board... The board... Bore you... Oh my god, I always have trouble with that word. Is that bourgeois minion? <laughs> I was said to evict you from the house. One wrong movement and you're on the street. Pack your things, get out of this house on good terms. Do you want to evict me? It's your right. You can't evict me without any reasons. I was told you spy upon me, is this true? Uh, no, excuse yourself. You work for the government, Carl. One can expect anything from you. I'm out of con- I'm out of conceit with you. We have nothing to talk about. Okay, um, you want to leave your house a little bit for no reason? I'm just gonna go over here. Do do do, you should totally leave your house. Okay, yep, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's let ourselves in real quick. Open that up. And we're gonna install a couple cameras in here. I got the cheap ones, but I got a couple of them. There's one. Okay, let's go install another. Here, and while he's doing that, I'm just gonna buy a slightly better camera for the other room. And then I'll just buy another, another cheap one for here. I suppose. There we go. Okay, is he home? There's a bus here. I just wanna make sure. Uh, let's head this way just in case. Yes, that's his- that's the wife. Okay, okay. That's her, right? Yes, okay. Well, good thing we got out of there, because they are home. We got all of our cameras installed, so we're good there. Uh, this guy, let's see what he's got. He does sell stuff. My compliments. What do you sell? Take a look. Um, so he's got, like, whiskey, blue tie, screwdriver, some random stuff. Nothing we really need right now, I don't think. Uh, where did the wife go? Did she not go in there? I'm not sure. We never talked to that guy either, but I do want to go give my stupid wife and the stupid kid the book. They're not stupid, I'm sorry guys, it's just frustrating. I'm, I'm overworked. Yes, father? Okay, do do do. Ask about books for study. Here are your books. Wow, I'll set my work. I could have dreamed of such wealth. I mean, I go to Rat's Nest, to the library, I mean. Think Klaus Schimmer from Apartment 1. This is his gift. Your <laughs> neighbor is great. I wish everyone was like him. See, now I feel bad for trying to evict them. Martha, uh, ask about the talks, man. Can we find a saucepan? Yes, apart from, <laughs> again, for both the people in apartment one that I'm trying to evict gave us stuff. Uh, they gave us the stuff we were looking for. Ah, oh, okay. Cheers, sweetheart. We have enough sugar. Carl, talk to Martha. She looks upset. Oh, Martha's the kid. Okay. Oh, wait, she talk about the Martha's doll. Have you seen the old doll Martha used to play with Anna? Anna's the wife's name. Okay, she couldn't find it. This is why she's so upset. Maybe it's behind the wardrobe or under the bed. Okay, we'll go search around for that. Oh, maybe it's that room? Well, I'll just search everything, try and find it real quick. Ooh, look at that! I found a razor, a toothbrush, and a comb. Not really sure if any of that's worth picking up right now. I mean, doesn't really seem like anything too important. Uh, eyeglasses and a book. Nothing of interest, we'll go search this wardrobe. Aha! Found the doll. There we go. Okay. Uh, mother, I've got your dolly. It was behind the wardrobe. <laughs> Uh, talk about the doll. What's your doll's name? No, I miss you so much. Will you find it? Already found. Here's your doll. Oh, Carl, you cheeky bastard. Thanks, Dad. I thought I had a great game. Want to tell you about it? Uh, I don't want to play a game. Pull the mine out of cubes. Okay, we're, we're done here. All right, so we finished all that. Uh, what is our ministry order now? Find a way to evict Klaus. Okay. Should probably keep an eye on them, see if anything illegal is going on up there. Uh, they are sleeping right now, though, so I'm just gonna hang outside here and wait for them to kind of leave. Good old Carl. We do have quite a few hours left. Let's see, I don't think anyone's home now, so let's go ahead and... Oh, don't pause it. Let's knock on the door. Alright, we'll just let ourselves in. I saw them leave. Oh! Oh, Carl! Carl, it's Klaus! Run away from Klaus! <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? Leave at once. Sorry about that. I'm already leaving. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Klaus. I did not mean it. Hello, are you guys leaving? No, they're just hanging out. Oh, he's playing piano. Wait, 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 wait. Is is music illegal? Singing in front of the Ministry of Order is prohibited. Oh, okay. 
So no, just singing. Uh, while we're waiting for him to leave, let's go and knock on this door. And talk to uh, Jones. Actually, they both left. Sorry, Jones. I'm gonna go over here. Don't mind me. Okay, we gotta do some searching around here. Let's search the phone. I'm just gonna search all the stuff. See if we find anything of interest. He looks like a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Ooh, they've got a lot of stuff. Uh, ship model. Okay, we'll go ahead and remember that. Toothbrush, fine. Razor, book. Okay, I just want to make sure they didn't come home on the bus. Nope. Ooh, they got tobacco. This pipe is used often. I hope they smoke tobacco, not some nasty stuff. Okay, so that's the wife. Towel. Nothing, nothing illegal about a towel as far as I know. Ooh, okay. Chess. Let's go ahead and remember that. Watch, book, red dress, empty bottles, boots. Nothing. Okay, what is this giving me? A, is someone down here I need to talk to? Oh, it's the wife. Okay. Nothing there. Okay, gotta keep an eye on this bus. Make sure they're not home. Nothing there. We didn't already search that. Search that. Okay, they gotta be coming home from work soon. Oh, book. Oh, they're home. They're home. Carl, get out of there, Carl. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh. Whew. Don't mind that your door is open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sneaky. <laughs> While we're waiting, uh, we can go talk to Jones. A quaint. Let me introduce myself. My name is Carl Jones Papadino. Buzz in at Coal Barge. I'm preparing a long trip. We're sailing abroad. While I work as a trainee in the outside affairs committee, I'll live in your uh, casemate. Casemate. Obligatory education for everyone who travels abroad with a business trip. We take anti propaganda training. Are you alone? Yes, I live alone. Okay, what's a special offer? I have a deal. It's hard time. Everyone does as best as he could. I have canned fish. You know everyone around. Find who I can sell this to and I'll pay generously. Okay. What about the quality? The best quality. Alright, sounds good enough to me. I found the canned food in the hold. Nobody uses the cans. The first rule of the barge, if it's not nailed, it belongs to nobody. So I took as many as I could carry. I right, we'll go ahead and agree. I'll see if anyone needs canned food. Here's a crate of 50. Okay, do you see my generosity? Sweet, okay. Give me 50 cans of fish. Delicious. I hope it's delicious fish. Uh, I didn't finish searching in here. There was some more stuff. Can I go in while they're sleeping or is that in bad taste? I'm not sure. Alright, well I caught them drinking and watching TV. I don't think those are illegal. Storing money. Paul Williams book. Drug production. Apples. Old clothes. Wait, there were old clothes in there. Wasn't there like a dress or something? Uh, we can go try and take that to see if we can get them for that. I think they're both still home. Yep, there goes the wife. Come on, Klaus. Go away. There you go. Okay, let's go ahead and break in there. Alright, check the wardrobe. I think that's where, like, the old dress was. Or it might have been over here. No, we got books. Oh, they got Paul Moon's philosophical books. <gasps> yes. Okay. Yes, those are illegal. We're going to steal those. Aha, we got you now, Klaus. You perfectly innocent man that I'm trying to evict. Red dress. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Theater mask. Okay, we can go ahead and remember that. Uh, book. And tobacco. Is this old clothes? It's confusing. Like, they say storing old clothes is illegal. But I'm confused about that. Because, <laughs> like, at what point do they come become old clothes? Like, I'm sure we've got some clothes around here somewhere. Is that illegal? I'm not sure. Uh, let's go ahead. No, don't, don't, don't search it. Uh, let's go ahead and file a report on Klaus and get him evicted. Drop a report. Mr. and Mrs. Klaus Shima, living apartment number one. File a directive. What was the directive? Uh, 6041. From uh, September 2nd, 1984. And evidence in the apartments. Let's see. Okay, there we go. So we got the books. Everything should be good. Uh, been sent. Police squad went to his house with an inspection. Okay. Let's see. The cops are gonna show up any second now. Oh, he's down there. He's not even home. Let's see. Okay, they're gonna... They're gonna go inspect his place. Klaus, you better, uh, go check it out, man. Let's see if they can find his book. What? Wait, I stole the books, though. Are they not gonna be there anymore? I'm pretty sure I took the books. It wasn't just, like, observing behavior. Yeah, they were in there. You guys, you guys searching? Did you find anything? Anything at all? Oh no! We lost money! What the heck? Wait, is it my, it's in my inventory? Oh, dang it. 
Okay, we need to leave them there. Let's go back. Dang it, so we got fined. Okay, now I'm gonna wait for them to leave. I'm gonna plant the book that was there that I stole. Does this mean I could plant this book in anyone's house? That'd be awesome. Uh, I don't know if that's true, but wait for them to leave and they'll plant the book and file a new report. Oh, I'm dumb. There we go. Okay. Uh, we just didn't remember it correctly. Alright, get out, get out, get out. I think they're home. Now that should do it. Yeah, I gotta click on the red to remember things. That's right. So now we should be able to submit it under collected materials. And hopefully not get yet a third rejected one. Okay, Klaus. Let's, there we go. Let's go ahead and send that. And the police uh, should be coming. Let's see, here they come. Okay, they are here. They're coming in. Oh, look, he's crying. I'm going to come up here and uh, watch him as this happens. So he's going to start searching. And he's going to search there. He's going to find the book. Oh, what have we got here? Are you going down, Klaus? How dare you? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. He's facing the door. Hi, Klaus. You have a good one, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. And off they go. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we just got a butt ton of money and reputation for evicting Klaus, but we did it. Awesome. Well, that's going to be for this episode of... What's this game called? Beholder? That's right. All right, guys. Well, leave a like, leave a comment, leave something. Let me know if you're enjoying want to see more Beholder in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye.